Two decades ago, the small Balkan state of Kosovo was fighting to secede from neighboring Serbia. In 2008, Kosovo declared its independence and this year celebrated its 10th birthday. Although Serbia still claims sovereignty and relations are still strained amid complex claims of wartime atrocities and ancient grievances. And then a mysterious death gave this toxic cocktail another shake. We went to investigate. Twenty years ago, the small Balkan state of Kosovo was in the grip of a bitter war. On one side, its predominantly ethnic Albanian population, which wanted to break away from Serb-dominated Yugoslavia. On the other, Kosovo's Serb minority, which opposed the move. The fighting only came to an end after NATO intervened on the side of the separatists. In 2008, Kosovo declared independence and is now recognized by most countries. But there are many signs the scars of war have yet to heal. Neighboring Serbia still claims sovereignty and exercises control over some enclaves, including northern Mitrovica, Kosovo's most troubled city, where earlier this year, and just one month before Kosovo celebrated its 10th birthday, there was shocking news. There had been a murder. Oliver Ivanovic was Mitrovic's most famous Serb politician. Uspostavljanja srčane funkcije i konstatovane je u 9 i 15 exitus, odnosno konstatovane je smet. His death sent shockwaves through a city segregated on ethnic lines, with an Albanian Muslim majority and a Serbian Orthodox Christian minority. This was a very tragical news uh, and uh, in a way, uh, the opinions and everybody was shocked, not expected. Though not without controversy, Ivanovic was widely admired for advocating dialogue between the two communities. There were thousands of people in the streets following the coffin out of the city towards Belgrade. I think that shows the respect that the man was held in. And he was not corrupt, because for very many politicians here in Kosovo, that allegation comes very easily. He was not corrupt, he was dedicated, he was decent. Hi there. Ivanovic left behind a wife and seven-year-old son. Oliver su voljeli svi. Oliver su voljeli i Albanci i Srbi i stranci. On je jedini bio uvek za dijalog od samog početka. Znači bio je za priču, za pomirenje. Imao je neverovatan broj kontakata među svim zajednicama. Prosto je bio poštovan. Nutko mogu samo da kažem da onaj koji je pucao Olivera od veoga je načinio ga je besmrtnim. Many here see Ivanovic's unsolved murder as a parable for the complex fault lines running through Kosovo and its struggles with its wartime legacy. We've come to find out why, who might be responsible for his death and what effect it might have on this young nation's future. Mitrovica's River Ibar divides the city's two communities. To the south, 
the Albanian two-headed eagle predominates. To the north, only Serb flags are to be seen. The new bridge between the two sides was meant as a symbol of reconciliation, but as with much here, it may be a forlorn gesture. The Serbs are building a wall on their side of the river to further demarcate their territory. Oliver Ivanovic had been one of the most significant political figures in northern Kosovo for nearly two decades, championing the cause of the Serb minorities while stressing the importance of remaining part of Kosovo rather than rejoining Serbia. Many Serbs live in the south, you know, and we are uh, very, very uh, sad about the Serbs. And we try to keep the Serbs also in the south. If we separate the Kosovo, we cannot succeed to do it. It's, we are against the separation. He advocated very strongly for the Serbian community in Kosovo, but all the while open for dialogue with the Kosovo-Albanian uh, political uh, leaders as well. His murder is a tremendous loss. But Ivanovic's inclusive approach to Kosovan Albanians was not universally popular. In the months running up to his death, when he was standing for office in North Mitrovica, he and his family were the victims of sustained attacks. His car was torched, and there were threatening phone calls. For example, if I know you, I want to send you a message to the candidate. I want to ask you to come and tell you that you have to get out of the list, otherwise there will be unexpected consequences. He called the director of the Kosovo police in Pristina and was looking for help. However, unfortunately, no one has not reacted. Mi smo imali nekoliko teških situacija proteklih godina i prvo jednom auto dignut u vazduh, onda mu je zapanjena kancelarija gde su njegove stranačke prostorije, onda su meni upali u stan kad sam bila sama. Undeterred, Ivanović was determined to find out who was behind the violence. Ja imam samo jednu stvar koja se nekima nasviđa, to je moje bavljanje politiku. Ono što će me dalje navoditi na razmišljenje, što ću me terati da istražujem, jeste zašto i gde sam kome stao na žulj, ili kako bi se kolokvijalno reklo, ili kome sam zašao zapravo u interes, na koji način ugrožavam nečiji interes. Inevitably, Ivanovic's murder heightened tension between Kosovo and Serbia. It also gave politicians an opportunity. Four days after his death, Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic made a rare foray over the border to Mitrovica to pay his respects. Ivanovic's outspoken criticism of the Serbian government's approach to Kosovo had angered Belgrade. Now Vucic sought to mend fences. I došao sam da poručim Albancima, Srbija ne samo da želi mir, već da ćemo dati sve od sebe da taj mir sačuvamo but at a press conference, local Serbs made it clear where their priorities lay. Vucic tried his best to calm the situation. Ivanovic's death also reignited debate over another enduring Kosovan problem the difficulty of dealing with repeated allegations from both sides about wartime atrocities. Indeed, Ivanovic himself was tainted by such claims. In 2016, he was convicted of inciting a paramilitary group which killed Albanians. Oliver Ivanovic is sentenced to nine years of imprisonment. But even among those with no axe to grind, the case raised eyebrows. I was uh, surprised that he was uh, indicted in the first place. And my understanding is that the evidence was not particularly strong and uh, circumstantial. And his arrest was a shock. 
za sve nas, da uhopsite čoveka i osudite ga devet godina za ratne zločine, a da pritom i ti sami stranci koji su ga osudili su svesni da on nije nešto tako počinio. Ivanović served 18 months in prison before the conviction was quashed and a retrial ordered. At the time of his death, he was expecting to be fully exonerated, but his supporters were outraged, believing the case had been politically motivated. Govore o tome da je bukvalno jedini i osnovni cilj bio da se Oliver zadrži u pritvor. Samim tim, ne iz nijednog drugog razloga, već iz toga da da bude uklonjen iz javnosti, iz društva, iz života političkog i delovanja političkog. But others believe the case against Ivanovic did have merit. There are dozens of Albanians who say that they have seen him being part of these gangs who committed crimes. So I'm not sure that he was innocent. The truth may never be known, but it does beg questions. Is it possible that after one attempt to keep Ivanovic out of public life had failed, that his murder was the next step? Or was it also an attempt to further inflame hatred? Almost everything in this troubled country is still framed in memories of the war. Kosovan Albanians pointed to the stark statistics. Of the 13,000 who perished, 11,000 were ethnic Albanians. Outside the parliaments of both capitals, Belgrade and Pristina, Permanent displays keep alive the memory of the 1600 still missing. At the village of Krusha Marda, hundreds were massacred. The Serbs gathered people in these uh, hills. They started to divide them from the women and children. And the ones who were from 15 and elder, they took them first uh, taking money from them and then started beating and killing them and burning them. We have 148 widows in the village. But Serbs point out that over 2,000 of them perished in the war. And after it, some 200,000 were forced to flee Kosovo. They say religious communities have been targeted too. To many Serbs, Kosovo is known as Serbia's Jerusalem. The most important holy sites of the Serbian Orthodox Church can be found within its borders in the form of magnificent medieval monasteries. The monastery uh, suffered uh, four armed attacks by uh, mortar grenades and RPG attack. And then, of course, we had also uh, problems with uh, graffiti, uh, with the uh, ISIS uh, sign. In 2016, Four armed Kosovo Albanians were arrested in front of the monastery. They had Kalashnikovs, and two of them proved to be connected with ISIS organization. They were definitely not here as tourists. Against this background of claim and counterclaim, the killing of a leading figure from one side or another takes on huge symbolic significance which may have been the reason behind Ivanovic's death. It was inevitable then that after the murder, some politicians in Serbia accused Albanians of being responsible. Da šalje jednu poruku da Srbi nisu dobrodošli na Kosovo i Metohiji, preko 200.000 Srba je proterano zajedno sa Romima i Gorancima. I kada vide ovako brutalno ubistvo jednog istaknutog srpskog političara, oni mogu samo da donesu odluku da se ne vraćaju više na Kosovo. The situation has been compounded by the inability of ULEX, the EU's rule of law mission, to push through war crime cases. ULEX was spending here almost 1 million euros per day. When they arrived, there were huge expectations and hopes that now we're going to get European justice. But justice is not something that you import. A case in point is yet another set of unresolved allegations about wartime atrocities, this time involving Kosovan President Hashem Tharchi. During the war, President Tharchi was a commander in the KLA, the Kosovan Liberation Army, which led the fight by ethnic Albanians for independence from Yugoslavia. 
In 2010, Council of Europe Special Rapporteur Dick Morty produced a damning report implicating the KLA and Tharchi in gruesome allegations involving the harvesting of body parts. Nous avons indiqué exactement où les prélèvements d'organes ont eu lieu. Les organes étaient envoyés vers l'étranger et transplantés sur des personnes qui payaient le prix fort. Tharchi rigorously denied the charges. Diem i fyr rënd nga akuzat e pa baza të Dick Martit, që ka bërë ndaj meje, ndaj bashkëtëtarve të mi, ndaj ushtrisë timtarë të Kosovës. Various attempts to bring cases against former KLA commanders have foundered after witnesses have been murdered or killed in freak road accidents, or simply disappeared. Yet the allegations have never gone away. In 2017, there was expectation that a special court in The Hague was about to indict senior members of the government. Then, Kosovo's ruling party made an abortive attempt to repeal the law underpinning the court's jurisdiction. It's no surprise that there's growing cynicism about who exactly is dictating events. Is it merely a coordinated government attempt to change the, the law regarding the courts? The uh, government had no much role because this was not a piece of law uh, uh, initiated by government or presented to the parliament by government. It was an uh, initiative of its own, of MPs. The actual president of Kosovo is being mentioned in this Dick Martin's report and all his opposition is uh, due to his personal interests. Someone from the politics, they are putting pressures on, on prosecutors and on judges not to bring these cases in front of justice, not to deal these cases. Meanwhile, the victims of war crimes in Kosovo on both sides are left in legal limbo. People like Fatah Rudi, a former school teacher and political activist who was shot 17 years ago at his small village in central Kosovo. Organet vendore jo qedek ka ndrështu, po negozojnë me kry pun, se komandantat janë të fort. Drecia kosovare vendore ka ndrështu. Vetëm shpresat janë të gjykata speciale. With so many alleged political crimes unresolved, finding those responsible for the murder of Oliver Ivanovich will never be an easy task. But in his last interview, Ivanovich did point a finger of suspicion in one rather unexpected direction. Oliver Ivanovich made a statement before dying that he doesn't feel threatened by Albanians, he feels threatened by Serbs, by his people. Before he died, Ivanovich told the press, People here are not afraid of Albanians, they're afraid of Serbs, the local strongmen and the criminals. We had over 50 cases of torched cars, throwing of hand grenades and unexplained killings. The perpetrators have links to the security structures. There is uh, organized crime uh, throughout the territory of Kosovo. And for many years, the North has been a kind of lawless area. And of course, this leads to a situation where crime flourishes and where money is made, and quite big money. So could Oliver Ivanovich have upset Kosovo's criminal underworld? Or was the underworld prompted into acting on someone's behalf? According to the Kosovan press, one name in particular has attracted attention from the authorities, that of Milan Radojicic. Acquitted in 2016 of organized crime charges, Radojicic now conducts operations from Grey's, his exclusive restaurant in the Serbian north of the town, where locals told us he is seen as a mafia-style boss. In his last interview, Ivanovic called Radojicic a criminal and was concerned that in late 2017, Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic had singled out Radojicic for praise, stating that he was safeguarding Kosovo. 
the assassination was done so professionally. It was not done by an angry individual. I think it was uh, organized uh, in a cold blood manner by the state of Serbia. In 2017, Ivanovic stood for mayor of Mitrovica against the local Serb List candidate. Serb List is an offshoot of President Vucic's party and is run from Belgrade. Kakav je čovjek Oliver Ivanović, kandidat za gradonačelnika Kosovske Mitrovice? During the campaign, Serb List repeatedly branded Ivanovic a traitor. One TV ad complained he cared more about his car than Serbs and accused him of working for Kosovo Albanians. Bilo je strašno da posle Oliverovog zatvora i svega što je proživeo da 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 mu se prosto stavi jedna takva etiketa izdajnika i čovjeka koji je izdajnik srpskog naroda i svega sve to nije tačno, ali crtana mu je meta na čelo, govorio mu je govoreno je da radi protiv srpskih interesa, da ko glasa za Oliver Ivanovića glasa protiv Srbije i srpskog naroda, da je Oliver Ivanović i izdajica i mnoge, mnogo loših stvari. In Belgrade, Serbian politicians accused the Kosovans of spreading fake news about their country's involvement in the killing. Od samog tog čina brutalne likvidacije Olivera Ivanovića, Priština je pokušala da skrene pažnju javnosti da je usmeri ka Beogradu. Da Beograd snosi odgovornost za ubistvo Olivera Ivanovića, što je apsolutno netačno. With more questions than answers, the task of solving Ivanovic's murder ultimately lies in the hands of the largely Serb-influenced Northern Mitrovica police, an institution he frequently criticized. We have many questions about the, not just the killing, but also the police response. Two police officers were put into custody because of their uh, behavior at the, uh, at the scene of the, of the crime. There are strange things. Ivanovic was gunned down outside his office in a street brimming with CCTV cameras. Istražni organi su uzeli naše kamere i našu kompjutersku opremu iz naše kancelarije na dan samog ubistva, tako da valjda je neka kamera zabeležila ubicu. I mogu da vam kažem, jedino što žalimo to je što nam nisu dozvolili da mi prvi vidimo snimke. Uh, the parts of the investigation uh, happens in Kosovo, but it's interrelated as well with uh, Serbia and Belgrade. Uh, so we was open to, for exchange of information. Uh, however, we haven't received a lot of from the other side. To date, there have been no arrests. Despite rumors, there are no officially named suspects, and crucial evidence appears to have been compromised. Doubts remain as to whether this murder will ever be solved. But what is clear is that it's given the already toxic mix of relations between Kosovo and Serbia another stir. In February 2018, Kosovo celebrated its 10th anniversary. The unsolved murder of Ivanovic hanging over proceedings and relations with its old enemy at their lowest ebb for years. President Tharchi was keen to show off his security forces. Over the border, President Vucic made a similar commitment at a military exercise. Očekujemo dalje ubrzano opremanje. Mi to mi smo mala zemlja koja se nalazi ne nalazi u vojnim blokovima i koja želi da sačuva svoju slobodu, svoj suverenitet. It may be some time yet before Oliver Ivanovic's dreams for dialogue and reconciliation are ever realized.